because any opportunity given to DLSU might cost us a lot. As Coach Villette would put it, hindi pa, ta hindi pa tapos to, mahaba pa, lumaban pa tayo. And I know you guys didn't notice this, but Jessica Curato is not feeling well today. Well, Coach Sack said, galing siya sa trangkaso, but the kid wants to play today. And if not for that ice pack that she plays on her head every time out, I would have not noticed. Chiki and Doc Ian. All right, thanks a lot, Maan, for that report. There's uh, Corrado. Again, you're right. You, you can't. You won't necessarily be able to see on the court. Uh -huh. But a lot of things plaguing uh, the players of USD. They don't know Also, not 100%. But she's not letting that bug her down right now. Or these playing basketball and going twice. Na blanco don't see going despite her efforts. That twice was a, she was, that was scored a, on. That was a finger roll from her team. <laughs> Oops. <Woo. laughs> Great placing. Ito, good placing and that ball was uh, set, uh, set up short. Good is blocked there by Ortiz. Cruz now is the option for that combination play. Dimakulana pushes it out to Banatikla, who covers her own attack. It's also it's impressive that she expects that. Babalik yep. sa kanya. Oh, Dimakulana <laughs> tries to score on the second touch, but... Lasal is still alert for that one today. And Atikla one more time sends it out. Outside. Two, way out. <laughs> that is outside from uh, Maru. After a long exchange that ended that sequence. With that error from Maru. And again, in the men's division, we're going to be covering that. But not just yet. Because up to now, the final four standings in the men's division. Not yet complete. USD ranked first. FU second. And Ateneo third. It is now De La Salle and UP fighting for that final four slot and that's going to be on Wednesday though it's not televised again it's most likely going to be at the Blue Eagle Gym no time yet that's in the men's division UP and De La Salle for that final four slot now final four day starts this Saturday here in the arena in the morning it's the men's division at 9 and of course in the afternoon at 2 it's going to be De La Salle going up against Adamson and USD against Ateneo that's the final four uh, uh, in the women's division. Four touches. Ball there against USP. USP will still with a lead here in this fourth uh, set. Make that three points. The lead that USD has against Rosal. Again, a must-win situation. USD needs to win this one. Uh-huh. Wow, Anya with a big dig. <laughs> and a big smile on her face. Tabaquero says, ako rin. <laughs> it's going to be a freebie. Let's see what the play will be. Oh, that's outside. You know, you know that Benedicta is thinking she she wants to send it back because it's empty back there. Uh -huh. But but sa control na That's bola. right, exactly. Uh, that, that's a perfect word. You control ang nakukulang when you when you've been through a lot of exchanges. You know, pagdating do sa huli parang you lose patience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ganun na lang. Ganun na lang. And you gotta hand it to her. She, parang nothing is by chance with, yeah. with Maruba at least. Right. Alam mo, at least may intention. And that time, she was in full control on how she wanted that ball to go over the net. Again, the future of USD. You're looking at her now and Santiago as well on the court. Alarca. Oh, that was a big mistake on Santiago's part not to go up with Ibakulama to block Alarca. Look at this. She, she was fooled by the set of uh, Martinez because there was a double jump by Martinez and that caught her off guard. So, Alarca against the Makulangan. Eh, eh, naka, may advantage talaga si Jack. And the kill there followed by a service error. Jack Cruz with like four service errors already. Jack Cruz has game a little bit wanting today, no? A couple of errors we've already noticed from Jack Cruz. She hasn't been given too many touches either. Isa Maiso, on the other hand, has already scored a lot of service aces, and she is just uh, doing damage for yep. USD at the front, but she's in the front. See, Imakulana just keeps going to her. Yep. Isa Maiso getting those sets. And, uh, you know, she's a better player for USD. She knows how to play in these types of games. That's right. Well, we're glad you're on hand watching this game. If you're not able to, to keep at it, if you have to go, you can still get updates on the scores. You can follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash ABS-CBN Sports. And you can also become a fan of the official ABS-CBN Sports page on Facebook and get all of your updates there. Ooh. Oh, still. 
almost hitting Martinez on the face. Good thing Martinez is able to put a hand up. Look at this down the line hit from Tabaquero. Clearing the blockers. Oops, almost hitting Martinez on the face. Great combination play. Martinez has turned now, going to Alarca again. And wow. she knows she should exploit yeah. that option more and more because Alarca has been so effective. That's right. As we mentioned earlier, whenever, whenever Alarca is in the front, but Paikuti ng Paikuti oh, oh. See? She gets a big opening right there. And it's just the same result every time she does it. 12 15, still LaSalle with a three point deficit. We're looking to here. And you know, you know, Masama, you know, Nakikita natin. Great offensive plays coming from LaSalle, followed by service errors. So, a result, wala. Then, in the game, USD with a four point lead at the second technical timeout. We'll be back.